What's up guys, it's Lawrence again, and today we have a huge showdown of the Zoom X Nike shoes. Before we begin, if you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. And if you like me in general, hit the subscribe button so that I can notify you and kind of get more videos in your hands. The first contender is the Pegasus 35 Turbo. I don't actually know what colorway this is, but I exchanged the original mint colorway for this colorway because this one is sick. The other contender is the Vaporfly 4%. Also done in a really, really wacky colorway. Uh, that I'm not a huge fan of. If you want a more in-depth review of these shoes, including on feats, go below and you'll be able to find that. So when we're looking at this, we're going to be looking at three main things. The first thing is going to be the upper. The second thing is going to be the midsole and outsole. Remember, they both use ZoomX technology. Uh, one does have a carbon fiber plate and the other one doesn't. And let's see if that makes a big difference. And finally, the lastly is just kind of overall value and feel for the casual runner. So first up, we have the upper. So the upper of the Pegasus 35 Turbo is made out of a mesh, and you can see that it's extremely breathable because you can see directly into the other mesh on the inside, and there is a layer of mesh on the front as well. Um, that's done usually in two different colors. And uh, it's really, really breathable, really, really comfortable. One of the, the outlying things about the shoe that was marketed is you can see the slope of the back heel over here comes out this way. And the reason for that is simple. It's so that your Achilles doesn't rub against the back of the heel, which a lot of people have issues with. But from a looks perspective, it really looks amazing. There's a huge stripe in the middle over here, completely for aesthetic purposes, but I really, really do like the design of the shoe and the upper itself. It's still extremely breathable, but definitely not too stretchy. When it comes to the upper of the Vaporfly 4%, you have your typical Flyknit runner. There's really nothing special here on the Vaporfly 4% that I can tell that's different. Um, so your classical Flyknit based upper, extremely stretchy where it needs to be, more tight in other places, uh, extremely comfortable. It molds to your foot. Uh, it's really, really great. And durability is, has always been there. I have never had Flyknit issues. Uh, from a looks perspective, I'd say that maybe I would be convinced with a different colorway, uh, but I'm not a huge fan of this color, but but this fly knit is very similar to a lot of other shoes that I already own, and I do love it. Closing it out, I know there, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but there are two things that I'm going to judge this on. Uh, from a pure comfort perspective, I'm going to go with the Vaporfly 4% fly knit, just because I do like fly knit more than mesh just in general. But from a design perspective on the upper, this looks so much better. They're basically designed exactly the same with really large swooshes um, and mini swooshes on the medial side. But damn, this racing stripe. That racing stripe looks so good. I love it. Um, and just the color patterns and everything will else work a little better. So maybe it's just because I'm used to this shoe and it looks boring to me, but you can basically get any other shoe that looks like this. The Pegasus 35 Turbo for a running shoe stands on its own when it comes to design. And I just really love the, the slope of the silhouette and everything else. The comfort on the uppers are, are pretty good. The only main issue I would have with the Pegasus 35 upper really here from comfort perspective and something that you should probably look at when you put the shoe on is, do you see how shallow this is from the midsole over to the top of the shoe? Um, that creates some issues when it comes down to your toes kind of crunching together. Uh, that does get alleviated over time, but when you initially put on the shoe, it does feel really, really tight from the top uh, top-down perspective. Length is pretty much okay. Let's uh, head over to the midsoles and outsoles. And so the Pegasus 35 is actually done with two different types of foams. The first one, which is up here where the there is gradient, uh, that's Zoom X. So that's where your foot actually hits the foam. Um, so that's on the very top and it's a very soft, light foam. On the bottom is going to be React, which is also a light foam, but it is a lot more durable than the Zoom X materials. Um, you can see this all over the internet. You know that the Zoom X shreds pretty easily, and that's one of the biggest problems with that type of foam. And so having this dual ability to have both the Zoom X on top and the React on the bottom really, really does both adds stability as well as durability to the shoe. Um, from an underfoot feel perspective, extremely comfortable for walking. Most people will compare this to the Ultra Boost. Uh, I'd say it's better than the Ultra Boost, and I actually think it's a lot better than the Ultra Boost. Um, so really, really cool stuff here. It's uh, one of my favorite soles thus far in running. The only problem I have with, with the sole from a running perspective is that because um, it doesn't have a carbon fiber plate and it's not really a complaint, I just don't feel that same responsiveness that I would get from full React. 
um, because of the Zoom X that kind of just sinks in. It could just be a feeling thing, but it's extremely soft and it really allows me to have less fatigue when I'm running. Going over to the Vaporfly 4%, the entire bottom is made out of Zoom X. Zoom X is the lightest and most flexible and most energy return foam that Nike has. Um, and it really, really is great here. You can feel it all throughout the shoe. The carbon fiber plate runs all throughout the shoe and it's stiff. Uh, you can actually feel it. You can feel the stiffness of where the car carbon fiber plate is and it's awesome. Uh, it's the most amazing feeling that you can possibly have when you're putting it on feet and running. Um, I can't say I can take advantage of it from a casual runner's perspective, but it's a really, really great feeling. And, and you know, when, when you think about how a shoe feels, this completely changes what that looks like. And I think that's really cool. But when I'm doing comparison for your casual runner, this is completely and utterly overkill. It's not durable. It's really expensive. Um, it's starting to shred after about 15 miles, which is not great. And uh, the carbon fiber, in all honesty, when you're trying to walk on it, it kind of really sucks. It's not that comfortable when it comes down to it because, because you're being propelled forward all the time, even if you don't want to. On the Pegasus 35, I'd say that this is the, the clear winner when it comes down to uh, the sole itself for your casual runner. This is still an extremely expensive shoe at $180, but it has all the technology that you want and really nothing that, that's not necessary. So the mesh itself is, is amazing. Do I wish it were fine it? Yes. Is it a deal breaker? Not really. Uh, I do love this upper and I love walking in it. It's only gotten better over time as my foot has conformed to the Zoom X better. So from that perspective, I, I just really, really do prefer the Pegasus 35 for, for running um, compared to this Zoom X version, which is just too much, just too much technology for, for some, for little old me. And so um, Pegasus 35 takes this round. All right, so finally with, with overall value, this one's gonna be super quick, 250, not gonna last long, not great for training. I don't recommend this shoe. 180, one of the most comfortable shoes, even if you're just a casual person that is not running at all and you just want a lifestyle shoe, this is super great. Buy this shoe, better than the Ultra Boost. You're not gonna regret it, unless you really, really like that sock-like fit like the Ultra Boost. You're not gonna get it here, but I don't think it really matters. This shoe just feels amazing, and it's gonna last longer because it's got React on the bottom, and React really does last a long time. So I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of different questions, so leave that in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if anyone has this shoe, the Vaporfly 4%, and you're a real runner, not the casual runner like me, leave comments below and let me know how you love it. And uh, this is the Pegasus 35. If you own this shoe, how much do you love it? How cool is this racing stripe? And until next time, this is the Vaporfly 4%, Pegasus 35 Turbo. Peace.